Mirror's Edge 2 has been sprinting around on the periphery of existence for some time now, but this week we finally had crisp white confirmation that Faith is returning. And with that in mind, we thought it was high time to weld together all those Mirror's Edge 2 scraps and fashion a glimmering tower of info in this week's rumour mill. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realise or didn't care. So why the sudden interest? Well, because Ben Cousins, former general manager of EA Easy, said on Twitter this week that the development of Mirror's Edge 2 by DICE was general knowledge in the Stockholm dev scene. And this follows comments from EA Games VP Patrick Sodland, who maintained that he doesn't want DICE to become a battlefield factory. Well, frankly, we can't think of a better distraction than the athletic pounce of Mirror's Edge 2. On top of this, Frank Guibault, the EA Games label boss, whatever that is, said back in 2011 that ideas for the game were already being booted around, even going so far as to say that it was likely to use DICE 2's monstrous Frostbite 2 engine. We'll come back to that in a bit, but if the sequel even slightly resembles the blinding beauty of Battlefield 3, we'd be exceedingly happy bunnies. So, do we have anything other than speculation? Well, if we didn't, I wouldn't have asked. Mirror's Edge 2 has appeared on a number of developer CVs, which is at least some degree of confirmation. Interestingly, the CV of one XEA software engineer has also mentioned implementation of the Wandering Crowd system using the Unreal 3 engine. But what about Frostbite 2, you cry in confused rage? Well, it could be that Unreal has now been dropped in favour of EA's in-house engine. It's also feasible that the game could use both engines, much like Medal of Honor did. One for the campaign and one for the as-yet unannounced multiplayer mode. Of course, there's always the chance that the CV is nonsense, but we have to explore every angle. What about the different direction we expect the game to go? Well, apparently EA is hoping to reach a broader audience this time around. Now, this could simply mean that they want to sell more copies. Well, which is understandable since the original is unjustly seen as something of a disappointment. But we do hope the sleek, stark world of Mirror's Edge doesn't get replaced with something dark, gritty and full of snap necks. Another key addition that series producer Owen O'Brien teased way back in 2008 was a level editor. Now, this would allow trial-style tinkering of levels, plus massive opportunities for user-generated content. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see in the sequel. But our picks would be a dizzying open world to parkour about and better combat, or at the very least, a better way to avoid combat. There's no word on a release date yet, since we've only just had semi-concrete confirmation of development, but unless the game goes next-gen, you can expect it sometime in 2013. And what happens after that? Well, the original intention of producer O'Brien was to make Mirror's Edge a trilogy, but that will almost certainly hinge on the success of the second game. Fingers crossed that it all goes well, and we might see the conclusion to Faith's story on PS4 or the next box. Well, that's all we've got time for you for now, but as ever, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and remember to keep running. We'll see you next week for another anarchic rumour mill.